Hi everybody, just bringing you an update that we have in the game as of um, very recently this morning about the wind conditions for the next tournament, Frosty Peaks Tournament. The in-game announcement reads, uh, practice is open for the Frosty Peaks Tournament, which is teeing off on Monday. Once again, we're looking to test different wind conditions across the various difficulties as we work to ensure fun and challenging conditions for golfers of all abilities. So this is going on from what we um, assumed last week where they're just trialling various things at the moment before settling on something long term. Rookie and pro are unchanged and will feature a variety of wins across the whole tournament. So exactly the same, five wins per week in rookie and pro. So no change there. Obviously, all players will experience the same wind per hole. So it doesn't matter what bracket you're in or skill tier, you're going to get the same wind directions for each um, hole that you're on. So obviously, five different wins. In expert division, this is where the change is, both back nines of the opening round and weekend round will match up. All other wins across expert will be unique. So we'll have a win for qualifying round, a front nine for the opening the back nine of the opening is also going to be the back nine of the weekend. And then we'll have obviously a different front nine for weekend rounds. So this actually means if you're looking at whole nine whole sets in experts, you're going to have four sets over the week. So a change there. Master level wins are the most predictable. And that's going to be very similar to last week, the full majors. So opening round, different wins from 1 to 18. And the same for the weekend round, but instead of just hole 18 being the wild card wind, you're going to also have hole 1 as a wild card as well. So that is the only change. Weekend round wild card wins for hole 1 and 18, but no discrepancy. It's going to be the same for every single player. And at the end, they address the skill tiers. We're continuing to monitor both the data and immense amount of player feedback. Hundreds and thousands of players compete in every tournament, and on the whole, the new system has improved the experience for the vast majority of players. We're seeing more players make the step up in divisions, notably in Master. And they go on to say that the tighter score ranges have been noticeable, and people are able to find their feet before moving up to higher tiers. Um, they then go on to congratulate everybody who's had the experience of we reaching the weekend round. They do also address the Expert 3 skill tier difficulty. And they are acknowledging that it is really, really tough and that the competition is very, very fierce. So they are saying that they are going to look into ways to fine-tune that and make the experience just as enjoyable and rewarding. But they have said they're not going to be do doing this until after the new year. So it's good to know that they are considering that, but obviously we are going to have to cope with the tough brackets at least for the next few weeks. Um, obviously, they have also said they're going to continue the work in the background and they're going to keep us all posted. So I do think this is a step in the right direction. But as always, do let me know your thoughts and continue to feed back so that we can try and um, gradually um, make our way towards something that is more acceptable and hopefully um, is not going to drive too many players too far down the divisions or out of the game completely. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.